Yo, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can, um, how you can use package install 2.0, which is a thing, a, um, homebrew slash thing tool I made, which basically, um, <clears throat> will get you install pkgs files, which is basically a PSN, a PSN demo, but it can be from any region, as you can have got a few US ones and JP, and, you know, you got two i on got a European package, so yeah. So you, you just want to head to this link here. Um, the link's in the description. Okay, and you need to be, make sure your PS Vito is running 3.60, and you have Hankaku already installed. So if you know how, if you have all that, then Hankaku is easy to get, by the way. You just, just Google how to get Hankaku, and you'll probably find a billion tutorials on how to do it. Anyway, so you just want to download these two files here, so these two are the ones you absolutely need, so I'm trying to double click package install 2.0 Alright, and we'll say it was added to the download queue You just want to double click package install of the EVK and it was also added to the download queue Alright, now in a fair bit of time, you see on here it's actually got a little progress bar um, Once that's complete, it will pair as a normal Chrome download and it will be on your computer after that, so Alright, so there we go, PKG, package install of VPK, and package install 2.0. But before I do anything, I want to get the package I'm going to install, just for this demonstration. I'm going to be using Redo, because, because it's a small file, so it will install pretty quick. So, yeah, I'm just going to click on that one and get that one down there too. But I'm just going, but you just want to install PKG installer 2.0 setup. Just want to run that. Say yes to admin access. Click next, next, next. Okay, and then just click finish. Now on your desktop, you will have package install 2.0. Okay, so just want to open that. All right, now come up for all this information. But before you can use any of this, you also need to install that VPK on the PS Vito. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know how to install VPK, but for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you right now with how to do it with Henkaku, okay? This is just for you guys. Okay, so to install a VPK, you basically just want to go on your PS Vito and open your, make sure Henkaku is enabled, and just open back your shell. Press select to create an FTP connection, and then back on your computer, you want to say so. Back on your computer, you then want to use an FTP client such as FileZilla. I recommend that one because it's, it's very easy to use. Um, you can find a download for that just by googling. It's like the top result. Anyway, you'll, un um, you'll see on your PSD though. Um, it says FTP colon slash slash and then a number. So you want to enter that number 192.168.1.6 colon one three three seven, right? You want to enter that and then just hit enter. Alright, and now you've got that on here, but now you can copy stuff from your PS3 though. So you just wanna go go and find that VPK file that we went step you downloaded. Okay, you just wanna kick it. Drag it into FileZilla into into FileZilla into the UX0 folder. All right, just just click OK to that and boom, it will say transfer is complete. So now once that's done, you then want to go back to your PS Vito, and on your PS Vito you can press circle and go out of that. Now on your PS Vito you want to open that UX0 folder. X. Okay, and then go right down to the bottom, and you'll see PKG install the VPK, right? You want to find this over here in the UX0 folder. And just hit X and then X again, and it will say it's installing PKG installer. Alright. So now, just want X, you can close out of that. And then go down here and open it. Alright. Hit start. Alright, and you'll see up there, it says PKG install 2, based on FTP video, connect PC app to IP 192.168.1.6. Okay, 
So yeah, you just want hit. You just want to go back to your PC now. Okay, so back on your PC, you then want to um open up that application that you installed. So this one here. All right, and you just want to end, click on click enter via the IP, and you'll notice it already has 192.168.1. already in there. Um, so just change that so it makes sure make sure it's your video video IP. And then you just want to go and click here to choose PKGS files. All right, and you just want to choose the one you downloaded. So that one, okay. And you just want to click install package. And click yes, and I'll wait for it to install. You'll see a command window come up, and it will go away. And that shows if, if you see that it should be working. Now this won't. This might take a while, depending on the package. But just don't close this app, or do, and don't close the thing on your PS Vito. You will start. Yeah, if you when it says copying the Vito, you should see a bunch of um white text appear on the screen. If you see that, it's working. Okay, so. Just don't do, just don't close this or your thing on your video until, um, until this app says on your computer that it's done, then, then you can do that, okay? So I'll just cut the video and be back when it's done installing the package. Okay, as you can see, the, um, Thing just finished, as you can see, it will say it will appear sound and will say done your PS video, reboot your PS video, finished install, check notifications if you can't find it. So now that's done. Um, on your PlayStation Vita, I'm just gonna go over to there. On your PS video, you'll see all this stuff. You can just hold down the power button, okay, and then just turn it off, and then turn it back on. And when you turn it back on, one of two things will happen. Either it will just start saying installing and then the application will appear on your home screen. Or, if that doesn't happen, um, which most of the time it doesn't, uh, you just need to click up here and then click on this and it will start installing it. And then, the application will appear on your screen, and you can even, you can start it up. And as you can see, it starts just fine. And you can even download updates for the application. That's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And remember the link to the start to the the link for that stuff on it is in the description.